Today I'm going to show you how to set up your IDX for your eEdge website. What this is, is it means when you have clients go to your website and when they search for properties, everything that is active on the MLS will show. We want to make sure that's set up for your website. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into mykw.kw.com. Once you are on the home page, you're going to go ahead and click on the My Leads. Once that has loaded, you are going to hover over the Admin tab. The site's been a little bit slow lately, so don't worry if it doesn't load right away. Once you hover over the Admin tab on the top, you're going to click on the My Account. Once the My Account has fully loaded, along the left hand side you're going to go to the MLS Administration. Initially when you click on that, you are automatically going to have the KWLS and it is automatically going to say that it is approved. What that means is that if someone currently goes to your website and they search for properties, all they are going to show is only Keller Williams listings. That's it. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and hit the red Start MLS Application button. Once we're here at the starting MLS application, you are going to select the MLS. The MLS for our offices is the My Florida. So you're just going to click on the list and you're going to click on My Florida. Once that is chosen, you're just going to hit the Save button. At this point, it's going to give you the nice blue box at the top saying that you've been successfully started the application. Now what you're going to show is you're going to show the KWLS as approved and the My Florida at Agent Review Instructions. From here, you want to open up a new message in your email. And you want to email eedge, E-E-D-G-E-I-D-X at marketleader.com. In the subject, you want to put MLS uh, excuse me, you want to put IDX approved approval. I always put in a dash with the agent's name. Down in the body, you're going to put in a little message asking for the approval. You're going to put in the agent and your name. You're going to put in the broker, which is Lori Tyrell, T-Y-R-R-E-L-L. -L. And in parentheses, you're going to put in that there's a blanket agreement on file. The next line is going to be the MLS, which is, again, My Florida. And then you're going to put in the website. The website here is going to be the address of your eEdge website. So all you're going to do is you're going to go to your eEdge website. You're going to copy the address. You're going to go back into your email, and then you're just going to paste it. Once you've done that, that's it. Now you just hit um, hit the send button, and now you should receive a notification that the IDX application has been received. And then in about two to three business days, you should receive a secondary email that lets you know that the IDX has been approved. And now when you come back here to your eEdge, where it says my, the KWLS will disappear. What will happen is it will only say My Florida and it will simply say approved there. So let me show you that real quick. So when it only shows My Florida and approved, that means that your IDX is active on your site. So now when people go there, and they search for properties, all of the prop active properties on MLS will show for them. That's it. That's all you have to do.